Hey, nice to have you back here in this new video. Today we're gonna focus on the One RS One Inch 360 Edition, and we're gonna concentrate on the virtual tour capability. So, how good is the imaging quality in real world shooting scenarios, and how to make the most of your dual One Inch imaging sensor and create the best possible 6.5K resolution for your clients. So, want to know more about it? Keep watching. My name is Yu Guo. My YouTube channel is Delicate 360 Photography, Video, Accessories, and some cutting technology. Now let's get started and dive right in. First thing first, just want to give you my brief conclusion on this camera for the virtual tour shot. Uh, the answer is quite simple. To generate the premium imaging quality with One RS 1 inch 360 edition, it's very simple and it's very user friendly. Just to capture your interior shot with pure shot HDR and remember to shot in raw DNG format and export with your Insta360 Studio 2022 and export the HDR DNG files to your uh, PC or Mac and choose the JPEG edition and the JPEG straight out from Studio software looks quite promising for your clients and this is what I have recommended for you the overall sharpness and the stitching artifacts are beyond my expectation. So coming next, let's tear it down and I'm gonna teach you step by step the whole workflow and you're gonna see how simple it is to generate the virtual tour premium imaging quality with One RS 1 inch 360 edition. But more importantly, we're gonna also cover some uh, comparison in between this 1 inch 360 edition versus the Seda X, which is also a very user-friendly virtual tour interior camera for the clients, for wide range customers all around the world. Let's fly through to the virtual tour shooting scenarios where I have come across with a very beautiful living room uh, during my trip. Let's go. This is a place where I will try to capture some virtual tour photos with Insta360 One Inch 360 Edition, as you might have noticed. This is my setup. Here it is. I'm gonna use this combo setup during my travel to capture some beautiful interior virtual tour sample footage and try to explore the real potential of this dual one inch sensor. And I just want to know how powerful it is to capture the virtual tour photos. As you might notice, this is the place where uh, we come across with the Beijing 2022, the Winter Olympic. For this scenario, also has a Huge dynamic range. The interior shot, its color is warm, and for the outside, it's very bright. So this is a place where we have to capture in HDR mode. And for the one inch like a 36 edition, we do have some um, nine shot bracket, and with EV one step settings and five second countdown, I'm gonna try to capture a series virtual tour photos and I also leave white balance as auto EV as plus minus one auto bracket number to nine and pure shot not ISP but pure shot because I want to get the premium imaging quality I also use a quick reader on the side as with when you're shooting with pure shot HDR in raw DNG format you do have a, a lot of imaging data to save to your external memory you know, it's really hard to remove SD card. So with the help of the quick cut reader, you can literally copy and paste all these raw DNG files really, really fast. And considering the pure shot HDR capture nine shot in bracket with burst capture API. So to shoot and save all the images, it's really, really fast. So this is the first shooting spot, uh, choose in between the windows and the bed. For the next interior shot, um, and this is perhaps another great place. And you should also notice for the dual one inch sensor, the lens is quite thick. So you do have to carefully arrange the stitching line. So in this place, I arrange the stitching line towards the, this orientation. So perhaps this gives me the best overall stitching quality. Beautiful scenery outside windows. So in this case, I will remove the curtain and to give you a crystal clear and sharp view for the outside. 
So with this scenario, you get even more dynamic range. So this is where the pure shot HDR with nine shot bracket really shines in your virtual tour shooting scenarios. And before we jump into the post-process workflow, I just want to share with you the brief setup for me to capture virtual tour with the dual one inch simul sensor of the one RS modular system. This is the standard one RS one inch edition with a quick reader and an external 64 gigabyte micro external memory. And this is a any great tripod that could also be doubled as an invisible selfie stick. It has a built-in tripod on the bottom. So the total length is around 1.4 meters and it has an unbarred structure on the bottom. So it's really stable, it's quite stable. And you also have a locking mechanism. Uh, I have ever introduced you to a similar design, but this one was designed by Eurek. And on top, it has an invisible uh, selfie stick similar setup. And in this scenario, I also use a Falcom F22. This one is a quick release system designed specific for 360 cameras. So it's not an ordinary F22, but this one is uh, F, F18. Uh, it is totally invisible under the 1S, uh, 1X2, 1RS, and 1RS 1G360 edition. And this is my standard setup for my 360 camera uh, since this video. So it's it's very thin and very light. This is how it looks like on the bottom. So it is not an ordinary F22, but it is a brand new design specific for 360 cam. Of course, it is totally invisible under one inch 360 edition, but uh, it is also totally invisible under Inter 360 One X2, which I believe is one of the thinnest 360 camera on the market. This one, it fits both sides in this direction. And it also fits in other direction as well. Do you see that? Unfold the tripod legs, it transforms into an invisible selfie stick. So I can hold my camera for travel and it is uh, totally visible on the Insta360 1 Insta360 edition. But it is uh, a little bit visible on the One X2 because it's, it's very thick and strong on the bottom. But anyway, this is perhaps one of the best design for any great solution for tripod, invisible selfie stick. And this Falcom F22 quick release system designed specifically for 360 camera, this combo setup is also totally invisible under Insta360 One X2. You know, One X2 is one of the thinnest 360 camera on the market with dual 1 over 2.3 inch sensor. So this one is physically invisible underneath the 360 camera. And I'm also so glad to share with you that this Falcom F22 360 camera quick release system is also totally invisible under Theta X. With the Theta X and the quick release system, it fits both sides. So you can blind install your camera on your tripod or your, tri or your invisible selfie stick. Once you have captured all the shot and also copy and paste the data into your PC or Mac, it's time to go to Insta360 Studio 2022 and I'm going to teach you the real step-by-step -step tutorial to play around with PureShot HDR and generate the premium imaging quality. Here is this, the photos have been captured with the One RS 1360, all captured with PureShot HDR and I also choose the 9 shot bracket with one EV at step, just to drag and drop to the studio software. It will Parsing the metadata, loading jar data, initializing project, and you're gonna see a list of files on the left column of this camera. And for each one of the shots, the studio software will generate HDR photo automatically for you. And for those of photos that has an HDR DNG as a prefix, that is to say this image will be exported in PureShot HDR in raw DNG format. And also we auto generate a high quality JPEG file straight out from this high quality raw image. And you can also see the icon on the top left of each one of the image, indicating that this is an HDR capture with the burst shot sequence where you can individually set every one of the frame in the shot and export individual image to your uh, external drive. But never mind, I would love to use the HDR version because this, this edition, the imaging quality is just gorgeous. 
I think it is useful straight up from Studio Software for the HDR DNG file. For this one, as you can see, it's a nine shot bracket and the stack can merge on the basis of the nine jetpack files. The overall image is not that great from the point of professional virtual tour camera, virtual tour photographer, because it's oversaturated, although all the details have been burned back, but it, overall the color is not great. Because only have eight bit color depths, but this one, this raw DNG format, this looks pretty stunning. And this is what I have learned from this technique that the imaging quality straight off from the HDR DNG is usable, it's good enough to deliver to a client. But you should notice that on the nadir part, you're gonna see a mini tripod and sometimes the shadow of your camera. This is where you're gonna need to add a nadir logo when you export image. And you can also, I will also teach you some approach to wipe out the tripod uh, in this section. Well, let's take a look at another one. Uh, here is another shot. Well, this is HDR DNG file, it regenerated. This time I have opened up the curtain and you're gonna see this shot. This is a single exposure and we're gonna see a real comparison. The color is great and outside the dynamic range, all the detail has been brought back to the image on the basis of nine shot in bracket. And the interior, the brightness, the contrast, overall image quality and the, co and the color, they all looks pretty stunning from my own perspective. And the stitching quality is also great. You might not notice the stitching artifacts because the stitching quality is, is pretty stunning, even though the dual one inch image sensor, the lens mod is quite sick, but never mind. It's a virtual tour shot. It is definitely qualified in a virtual tour shooting scenarios. And what you see is what you get. So this is another great feature for the Studio Software 2022. I'm now using the 4.4.0 edition. This edition works great on Pure HDR and overall looking, look at this dynamic range. I think it is pretty stunning for me. And the overall, the outside, everything has been retained with great detail and with almost zero noise. Altogether, I have shot seven different virtual tour photos with nine shot bracket in pure shot HDR. Hit on export and choose the folder that you want to save your files and automatical horizon leveling. And if you want, you can use Nadir logo to wipe out your tripod. But for me, I'd rather leave that there because I can add Nadir logo on a virtual tour platform like the Teleport Me. And you can also export all exporter photos in case you want to have some further editing for your use scenarios. But for me, I want to keep it simple and still want to get the best overall imaging quality. This is why this is my settings. Start exporting and it will ex export every set of the files into individual folders in your uh, explorer. And you're gonna see the result and export itself it uh, takes some time, but you know, you don't have to do post-process on the basis of this image because the quality is just great. There are two ways that you can get rid of a tripod. So number one is quite simple. Just use a Nadir logo with your contact sheet on the bottom. And once you kind of look down to the ground, you're going to notice that it is a shot from you, the great photographer. Another one is to use uh, Affinity Photo or Photoshop or some other platform or Touch Retouch on Android or iOS that is support the uh, patch tools in 360 interactive form factor. While you look down to the ground and directly patch the Nadir with content aware feel to totally wipe out the tripod in your shooting scenarios. But it is a little bit time consuming, so if efficiency is the first priority for your workflow, I suggest you just put a logo on your on your native part and it's really fast. Next one, let's make some side-by-side -side comparison between the One RS 1 and 360 and the Zeta X. Bones camera are very easy to use and Bones camera could deliver the premium quality. The Zeta X could jam more pixels in the final resolution. So let's take a look at what are the real differences in between these two cameras in the same 
shooting spot. Okay, now let's take a closer look at some side-by-side -side comparison about this imaging quality in the virtual tour shooting scenarios. But first thing first, I have captured the 1 inch 360 edition with PureShot HDR and export with Studio Software, and I choose the JPEG format straight out from the software. On the right side, as you can see, I have chosen the Zeta X and shoot with Auto HDR rendering mode, and everything was rendering inside the camera with 11K resolution. But you should notice that uh, I have uploaded all these panoramas on the Tadpole Me platform, uh, which I believe this is one of the best platform to hold your virtual tour photos. And it also provides some great comparison tools for our 360 content creator to make some close-up comparison. Uh, on the right side, you can see there is a split icon. You tap on the icon, you can choose the left and right respectively. Here I have uploaded four different comparison pairs of the 360 photos. Well, I have named as one, two, three, four. So you can choose left as one RS with one inch 360 and choose the right side with one Zeta X and click on done. Now you are good to go. And you also choose uh, two pairs just like this and we automatically add some side by side. And overall, as you can see, as you might notice, I don't know which one do you prefer, but overall dynamic range, the one RS 1 inch 360 looks better compared with the Zeta X, as you might notice. And the color, the accuracy, the color accuracy, personally speaking, the one RS 360 edition is slightly better. And the overall saturation, uh, personally speaking, I think the one RS 360 mod produce a slightly oversaturated looking uh, compared with Zeta X. While Zeta X has uh, tried to retain all the dynamic range and try to make the color very flat. So you can have a little bit more space to post process with your software. But I think the 1RS overall contrast and the color are useful straight out from the camera. Okay, and let's take a closer look at the details. You're gonna see something that is really unique. If you close, take a closer look at, considering that the one inch sensor is a four times larger compared with the half inch sensor of Zeta X. So even though the Zeta X has a more dynamic range, but the overall looking, I think, the one RS with 360 mod is less noisy compared with the Zeta X. But although Zeta X has a little bit more resolution a little bit more sharpness in the detail, but overall, I think the One RS produced with less noise. And let's take a look at on the white ceiling of these photos. If you take a closer look at, as you can see, the One RS produced less noise, and they have different color style. But overall, I I think if you want to be fast, you want to be high efficiency, yeah, I think the the One RS. The JPEG format straight out from Studio Software is a great choice for you if you want the faster workflow. Let's take a look at the third comparison. One RS, set X, click on done, and take a closer look at the detail. Well, the One RS with less noise. Did you see that? Especially. If you take a closer look at the wall, the one-inch image sensor tend to capture more texture in between the frames, while Zeta X tend to generate a flat color. So they have different looking taste, and overall, for the TV set, the one has produced a much better image quality, considering the TV set itself is black. And if you could take a closer look at the floor, I still think that One RS has a better looking straight out from the software. But CDX has more space for post-process, even though they have JPEG-only format. And for the details, the 11K resolution does have a little bit more resolution compared with the 6.5K. But if you zoom in really close, the CDX it's a little bit noisy compared with the One RS. 
And that is exactly the magic of the one inch imaging sensor. Overall, I don't know which one do you prefer, but I think if you are a virtual tour photographer, that concern more about the efficiency, the faster workflow, I think the one RS is a better choice in a virtual tour shooting scenarios. But if you do want everything that could be complete straight out from the camera, I think Theta X is a better choice for you. Uh, here I would like to also share with you the link of my comparison to between the OneRS and Theta X so you can figure it out by yourself. Okay, so far so good. So how do you like the footage that produced by OneRS and Theta X? You can leave down in the comments and let me know. In the previous section, I have shared with you everything that I have learned and captured the premium virtual tour photos for your clients with One RS 1 inch 36 edition. So the pure shot HDR is a must have setting for your premium quality uh, interior virtual tour shot. And the studio software just could deliver the best overall looking image from the raw DNG format straight out to your desktop or PC. The JPEG imaging quality sometimes looks even better compared with the 14-bit HDR DNG format that regenerated from the pre HDR. I don't know the reason, maybe uh, the NG360 could improve their raw DNG imaging quality, especially on the stitching area. You know, from the JPEG edition, I think there are a lot more calibration to make the image, the overall color, the stitching artifacts, everything has been controlled with the professional level. But for the raw DNG format, you do need more time to post-process and to deliver a little bit higher imaging quality compared with the JPEG format. So overall for me, I prefer to use the JPEG files straight out from the raw pure shot from the studio software. And I'll also teach you some tips and tricks to eliminate, to make some clever Nadia patch and also some accessory recommendations for you to better master the virtual tour technique to generate the better quality for your clients. And last but not least, I have shared with you the side-by-side -side comparison in between the One RS 1H360 and the Theta X. Okay, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Stay safe, see you next time. Bye.